previously on The Shape of Home. We bought a house. A two-story home. Previous resident used it as an office. For us, we will be using it as more of a living room space. Oh my goodness, what a difference a few days makes. Welcome to the living room. And now the story of a family who bought a 100 year old house and the renovation choices they made to get it all together. It's the shape of home. Plans have been made. Money has been spent. Major July, August, September. Basically not much has changed here in the last five months, but finally something arrived to kick off this living room transformation party. It's like when the first guest arrives at your party and you're like, yes. People are coming. She's right over here. She's also the sponsor of this video. Thanks to LG and their stunning, amazing, major wow factor 4K ultra short throw projector. There are a few models in this projector series. Ours, if you want to take a look at it, is the LG Cinebeam HU715QW 4K ultra HD laser ultra short throw projector. And if you guys don't know what ultra short throw means, at under 21.7 centimeters from the wall, which is about a human hand span. It projects a massive 120 inch screen. I'm gonna get started on this makeover and I can't wait to show you more of the projector. Alrighty folks, this is what we're dealing with here. <laughs> Many of you may recognize this is all furniture from our previous studio. We actually move this furniture around all the time depending on what's happening here. Last night we were watching a TV show on this couch with the projector on the wall. In this corner, it's chaotic. We've got a whole bunch of Marla things as well as pictures that we have not committed to nailing to the wall. That's a goal in this video, to get brave enough to start nailing things to the wall. I did, however, mount this mirror. Hopefully that's worth something. Beside it, our lovely window where Sagwa loves to wait for us to come home. Yep, I'm talking about you. We're still trying to figure out the shoe situation here. As much as we love this couch, I actually don't know if it can stay. I will explain in a moment and hopefully you understand. These two seats, however, should be good. It would just be nice to have a bit more storage. A much bigger rug would be lovely. Feel like our window could really use a proper curtain. Right now it's all of our pre-existing furniture and they just look a little awkward because this wasn't the home that they were selected for. Shall we get planning, my dear? I've been putting some things together on ye old mood board. Let me show you. To solve for storage and to give the projector a worthy pedestal, I have an idea involving an Ikea Besta unit. I want it to be black because I feel like right now there's nothing really dark and grounding in the room. You know what I mean? And I also bought these knobs and legs from Pretty Pegs. Yes, I hope to use this media unit to teach Marla all about rectangular prism, sphere, cylinder. These are the other pieces I'm envisioning to work together. These two I've ordered. I have no idea when they're coming. And as you can see, we did commit to having a sectional, which means the yellow coach has to go. If you live in Toronto, let me know if you're interested. Yeah. <laughs> Ikea. <laughs> Part of the struggle with the car seat is sometimes we come here and we don't even know if we can take home the thing that we're looking for. I know I could look up the box dimensions in advance, but I just, I'm a visual person. I think I see what we need and it's looking big. It's a solid maybe. I'll just come back and get it myself. We've already been soaking up this projector for a few weeks now, but I'm so excited for it to have a proper media unit to rest on. It is super easy to set up. You just plug it in, connect it to Wi-Fi, so it's fully connected to the internet 
Plus, we love to use the AirPlay connectivity on our phones so we can share photos and videos whenever other people are here. Hands down, the best part about it though is the ultra short throw. Like, are you seeing how close this is to the wall and these plants that are on the sides? Not even casting a shadow. There is no need to ever consider mounting this to a ceiling or worrying about casting a shadow on the picture. And it fulfills our wish of having a living room that wasn't dominated by a big, black TV screen, it's so subtle. Wouldn't even know she's there, but when it's time to enjoy some home cinema, you turn it on and boom, a whole wall of 4K Ultra HD with auto brightness adjustments that make the picture quality enjoyable in any environment. As a testimony, Dan loves to go to the movies. Obviously that's been a bit hampered over the last few years, but multiple times he has commented while we were watching on this, that this is just as good. And of course it is not just for movies. We also use it for family workouts, sports, and playtime with Marla to name a few examples. For now, we have been projecting on our big plain wall and the picture quality is so good, but eventually when we finalize a living room configuration, we're still thinking about getting a projector screen to get to that ultimate crispiness. If you guys have any questions about our experience with this projector, put them in the comments and I'll respond to them. And I will also put a link to this projector in the description so you can check out all the specs for yourself. Thank you so much LG for sponsoring this portion of the video. And now back to the makeover. This feels good. We got a big log, smaller log wrapped in rope, platform and bases. What is happening? Oh, what is this, Agua? to the drapery store. Button, button, button. Can you say button? Button, button. This store had so many options. They were really helpful on the phone and so I came to see things in person. Things did start to add up so now I'm at home without purchasing anything. Dan started being like, you know how to sew. You could take a regular curtain and turn it into inverted pleat if inverted pleat is what you want. With a little DIY, we're gonna come in at under $100. I don't know if anyone else can relate, but I just was very tunnel vision when I walked into that store. So it took me a while to accept that I will DIY. Laziness? Is that, I don't know what this is. We're gonna make this look way nicer. Obviously it's fresh out of the package, so it's a bit wrinkly and could benefit from a press regardless, but see how it's like kind of crumply up there. I'm gonna pleat it. It's my first time ever pleating curtains. <laughs> Just did a lot of measuring, a lot of math. This is what I've ended up with. Middle pin is the center of the pleat. The two side pins come right sides together. Gonna do a straight stitch down this entire firm section of the curtain. Like so, ta-da. I'll link the tutorial that I'm sort of following to do this, but the next step is to take each of these pleats, press them so they lie symmetrically across the seam, and then stitch it down this ditch here. Stitch in the ditch. Stitch in the ditch, done. Let's take her for a spin. On the right, we have the untreated Ikea curtain, and on the left, ta-da! The folds are nice and neat. I gotta find one extra pin to deal with this end piece. Let me open and close it to compare. I'm very happy with that. All right, well, that means I'm gonna take down this curtain and repeat all those steps again. Congratulations, you just signed up for more work. Texture. This rug is definitely big enough. Oh boy. Mmm, I'm 
liking it. This is completely hand woven. We are going to be keeping this rug forever. Last night, Dan installed these accordion blinds. They just stop wherever you want them to. Wow. One over this window and one on each of these windows in the dining area. And with that as our final touch, as well as the complete lack of commitment to any wall decor. Uh, <laughs> here's how this place looked when we bought it. It was a closed in office slash bedroom when we demolished, renovated, moved in with our sad little rug, the projector sitting on a coffee table instead of letting us use the coffee table. Lack of curtains, lack of cohesion, but here it is now. the best our living room has ever looked since living here so I'm pretty pleased. In defense of the wall art situation I decided I want a really large piece over here in this corner and I want to take some time to make that myself and whenever that sectional arrives I will let you know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye! <laughs>